And like I promised, there's more talk on number one and uh, men's goals. Miss G has uh, the latest or some more, let me just say, some more. <laughs> On this, the latest uh, is uh, found fluid <laughs> story. <laughs> that would be the latest, but so, exactly. so long as we haven't found them one, exactly. it's just an addition. But what we noticed today, after you know, yesterday after the war answer was uh, talked about, yeah. today we realized that one office of the sister company of Men's Go, which is Xylophone Media, mm. uh, had their branding being pulled mm -hmm. off. Okay. Yeah, somebody posted on social media, and uh, people will say that that's on the Westlands uh, stretch right. here in Accra, oh, and right, uh, that's right, the picture right, right. of them pulling off uh, the branding of Xylophone Media oh, on I that building. Oh, I all the time. Yeah, on I the see. Westland stretch. Wow. And what, what, what happened was also that I tried to reach the communications director for Xylophone Media. Right. Uh, that's a Samiba yeah. uh, Atobi. Most people call him Sabi Flex. Okay. And he says that he would not comment. Comment. He is in no position to comment about this and any other issue mm -hmm. affecting mm -hmm. uh, their sister company. Luckily, so, we spoke to an official of Men's Group, okay. the Deputy Public Relations Officer, and he says that his boss is outside the country. He mm -hmm. wouldn't say exactly where he is. He just says that he is, you know, looking I had him for say money. He's looking for money to, to pay, pay the, the customers. Exactly. And uh, somebody asked, uh, while we're listening to that, that what is he doing? They're looking for money. As in, what kind of job is he doing out there? Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope and pray that, you know, the monies are refunded to these folks. So, I still on xylophone media and xylophone music. You know that they have xylophone music, and that has uh, St St Stoneboy, Shatawale, Kumigita, who was actually the first signee, okay. Becca, right. and uh, Obibini, right. and Joyce Blessing. These are the signees for xylophone music. Then they have the xylophone Art, uh, actors uh, who are uh, B.B. Bright, my own good friend, who is pregnant. I'm not sure. I'm sh if I hear that B.B. Bright has delivered, it will be very true. So she's <laughs> heavily pregnant. So B.B. Bright, we have Benedita Gaffa, who is also currently that's out of Bright the country. On the, on the yes, that's B.B. Bright. This is James, James Gardner. Gardner. Okay. And uh, we have, that's Joyce Blessing, who belongs to the music. Kumigita, who is also part of the music. That's the rapper Obibini. And Shatawale and Namwani in the shot. That is the sister Simibu, of Simabu. Uh, yeah, okay. Namwan uh, Simabu, who is a fashion designer, and Stoneboy also in the shot with Namwan. Two Sweet Anan is an actor, and also Zinel Zu Lydia is also an actress signed to the league. And that's Becca, who everyone is speaking about today because uh, they say that she has deleted all photos of Namwan on her platform. I have been saying that it's not quite new because I remember that Becca unfollowed everyone except her husband okay. and it became, became a big deal because people thought that if we are following you, then you need to follow us back so that, right. you know, we know that it is follow for follow. Yeah. But she deleted every photograph of hers at a certain point on her Instagram account and was left with only the picture of her husband. Oh, wow. And now she has photos on. So it's not strange that she deletes, you know, as and when she wants to. Mm -hmm. But um, she's yet to speak. And every other signee, apart from Kumi Guitar, is yet to speak on the issue. Okay. And so here's what Kumi Guitar has actually been saying on uh, Namwan and the Men's Goat Saga. <laughs> I feel your pain, I know your story, but you say you're a big boy. I'm a victim, the crime with him, I know your pain, I know your pain, you're a big boy. When you're a big boy, you're a big boy. When you have been Bonidia, no one, when you have been Bonidia, some are born in a book of drone. Yeah, be sending me crammer to no quibia. Okay, so that's uh, Kumigita. Who, he says he knows their who, pain. Yeah, mm. who has constantly said that mm. he has money also <laughs> saved with a men's good. And his schoolmates and classmates will be here to uh, Nanapia Mensa. He's actually the first signee mm. of Nanapia Mensa's okay. xylophone uh, music. Now, let's talk about Lydia Forsen, who has actually been speaking on the issue. Okay. And she blames celebs and politicians for what is happening to xylophone and men's gold in particular. And here's what she posted on 
on her social media platform, if you can see it, uh, just a bit of it. And uh, that's, that's a, it's a blog, actually. She puts it on her blog and she talks about how she thinks that these folks who went endorsing and became ambassadors, if you read it, she says those who became ambassadors for men's gold should have known how, you know, fishy it was and how the deal looked too good to be true and even she even though she would have loved to be an ambassador there were things that were questionable about these deals and these celebs she would be asking questions and she's cautioning them that the next time they decide to pick on these roles as ambassadors mm -hmm. they should be cautious mm -hmm. and know the details of what they're signing in in fact the question uh, she asks is did any of these people have suspicions about the company I'm sure they, they did, did. which yeah, is very she categorical. Said that. Yeah, she said that. So uh, that's it on uh, Men's Gold, mm -hmm. uh, Xylophone Media and all that. That's all time we're Lars. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's, there'll be more yeah. in the following days. But thank you very much, Miss G.